Out in the North Sea, Britain's biggest and most powerful warship ever built, HMS Queen Elizabeth, is preparing for a crucial milestone in her journey to become fully operational. We flew into a flight deck big enough for three football pitches, where they're gearing up for night flights for the F-35B jets for the first time in UK waters. In the darkness, the roar of the lightning jets, each one costing around £78 million, is deafening. Like a ballet, their impressive power and precision play out with each landing and takeoff. For the pilots and flight deck crew, every manoeuvre carefully executed. With night flights in UK waters now under its belt, Britain's biggest warship is one stage nearer full operational capability. It all goes to plan. That should happen by the end of the year. HMS Queen Elizabeth and her sister ship, Prince of Wales, have cost £6.2 billion. Given the austerity measures of recent years across government, critics have questioned whether these aircraft carriers are worth it. From Portsmouth, within easy reach, quite a few areas that we can go But the Defence Secretary, here to see the carrier and jets working together, insists it's money well spent. How much do you feel that this still represents value for money? This ship delivers an equal punch to an American aircraft carrier, and it does so with a third of the crew and for a third of the cost. It's also much more than just a floating airfield. It's an intelligence and surveillance capability. It's a force protection uh, capability. It's a command and control capability to protect our trading routes, protect our allies, uh, and to give us all early warning. This is so much state of the art. This is, this is like a Battlestar uh, headquarters. The commander of the UK Strike Force says the past few days have been crucial for HMS Queen Elizabeth and the F-35B jets. You have witnessed yourself the sort of complexity of operating on that deck, particularly at night. Uh, and the more we do that, the more proficient we come, which is ultimately about putting those fifth-gen aircraft where they need to be whenever we want to. And in the years ahead, these carriers and their jets will find themselves centre stage in meeting those future threats. Neil Connery, News at 10, on board HMS Queen Elizabeth.